Hey guys, so there are kids around, so you'll probably hear them, but <laughs> they're looking at me funny right now. Um, this is just going to be a quick thing. I posted on my Facebook, and oh my goodness, I cannot even begin to tell you how stressful today has been. So yesterday, for the past week, um, Colton has turned into Jacqueline Hyde. Um, he goes from being the sweetest, nicest little boy who you can't say no to, who gives you hugs and kisses, does anything you ask, to this terrible tyrant who is defiant and disrespectful and screaming and yelling and hitting and kicking and biting and throwing things and won't eat and won't look at you and won't go to bed. And this has become my toddler. I don't know what happened to my kid. Um, I mean, occasionally we've always had these problems. And it's usually really bad whenever he comes home from my mom's house. Because of the schedule change. So, I mean, but that's usually for a couple of days here and there. And I can handle that. He's, he'll be three in May. And I have no idea what in the world has bit his butt this week. But he has been awful for over a week now. I am a yeller by nature. And I watch kids, so I hate yelling. I've really been trying and succeeding and stopping to yell so often. And the past, like, week and a half, I just can't. I can't do it. I can't hold my tongue. I can't just, like, calmly explain to Colton. I can for a long time, and then by lunchtime, I'm done. Because he's just so frustrating to me. It's so hard, guys. I, I never knew this part of motherhood. Um... It's one of those things that no one ever really talks about. No one's going to tell you that their kid is a complete brat for six hours a day and is only wonderful when you see them. And it's everything that they have in public not to scream and bite their child's head off because they're acting ridiculous. And I think the part that gets me the most and gets my husband the most is that Colton knows how to behave. Like, it's not a he doesn't know how to act. He definitely knows how to act. He's choosing not to act like that. And it's not like he's overtired where he really isn't in control of his emotions. He's just choosing to act horrible. Now when he is overtired, he acts like this too. But yesterday, I had a surprise day off and I just knew that I needed time to myself. So I went to the mall and I got my hair done. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got it dyed. It's like a nice reddish color. Um, it's a brownish red so that the red doesn't evaporate from my hair nearly as fast and I got lots more layers up on the top and I didn't get a lot of length taken off just a little to trim it up and some side slip bangs and stuff like that so that I could have you know some mommy time and feel pretty good and man um it only worked for a little bit because the hair chemicals definitely gave me a migraine which was no fun and then I came home and I took a nice relaxing bath and I went to put Colton to bed and changed him into a diaper for bed. And the little poop head pooped in his pants. So then I had to wake him up and give him a bath. And then he was up for, for hours afterwards. And I didn't end up going to bed till like 2 o'clock last night. And I had to be up again this morning at like 7.30. And I'm just, I'm not feeling so good. I've not been getting sleep. I've not been, my house is a disaster because I just haven't felt like keeping up with the routines. And I feel like I'm yelling at you guys right now. I'm so sorry. Um, the kids are so loud. And it's just so frustrating as a mom. Like, I feel like I'm failing as a mom because I'm yelling and screaming at my child. And there are still times where he's the sweetest little boy ever. And then it's like a switch and it just goes off. And I know other moms are dealing with it, but man, how do you guys handle it? I, I just, I don't know how to pull him back to being that good little kid. Um, snuggles help sometimes if he's tired. He can just snuggle and then he'll feel better. But there's sometimes where I don't feel like, I'm going to be honest, I don't feel like snuggling him. When he's hit and kicked and screamed and spit on me, like, I don't want to hug him to make him feel better. That is the last thing I feel like doing. I do it most of the time to make him feel better. But, man, I just want to be like, go to your room or sit here next to me and calm down. So I just thought that I'd make a quick video kind of talking about 
How the parts of toddlerhood that no one tells you about. I you hear about terrible twos and people just kind of like joke about them and brush them off. And I never really had terrible twos. Colton is, you know, two months shy of three. And I never had to deal with that. Well, about three months shy of three. And I never had to deal with any of that. I never had a defiant toddler. I never had. Um, I've posted a video on my old channel about Colton throwing his temper tantrum. And his temper tantrum is truthfully he lays on the floor and kicks and screams. And so this past week, he has become awful. So how do you guys pull your toddler back? Or pull yourself back um, from that screaming, I'm going to break edge? I would love to hear your opinions. And I'm sorry for the video overload today. But thank you guys for watching. And I will talk to you later.